All right, what's up guys? So today I am doing a radiator and a thermostat on my 1992 GMC Safari XT. Ended up actually getting this for free. I'm the second owner of it. Pretty clean on the inside. Got all my fishing stuff in here, so I ignored a little bit of a mess. But um. Yeah, let's see how many miles it has on it because I don't remember for sure because I honestly have not driven it that far yet. So it's got 217 626 on it. And like I said, I'm the second owner. It's got pretty clean interior. I used to work on this thing when I worked at the mechanic shop off of 436. But no, today we are doing a radiator and a thermostat i've already started pulling it apart i got the upper radiator hose off of the radiator now i'm just fighting to get it off of the thermostat right there so i'm gonna fight with that try to get it off and let y'all know how it goes all right so i pulled the thermostat housing off i need to clean it because somebody put stop leak in here and i'm not sure why just yet and I honestly hate stop leak, which is why I'm changing out the radiator, because the radiator's plugged up with stop leak. But I don't know how well y'all can see in there. Here's the new thermostat right here. Still in the box. Haven't opened it. Got all my gaskets right there to try to figure out which one it is. I literally just pulled this housing off. There's no thermostat in there. Which tells me there's something there was something wrong and somebody did the dumb way of weeding out the problem because in all reality you're supposed to have a thermostat in a vehicle I know a lot of people say you don't need it just do away with it blah 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 but in reality the only way to make a motor run right on anything is to have a thermostat which I will show you all that now let me zoom out real quick but yeah, the only way to have a vehicle run at the proper temperature and everything is to have a thermostat in it. That's the only way the vehicle will get up to operating temperature and maintain a certain temperature and not get too hot, not stay too cold. You want it right in the middle. So this is what the thermostat is supposed to look like. Like I said, this is the new one. Just pulled it out of the box here. But no, this is what's supposed to be down in that hole right there and there's not a thermostat in there, watch. Get the ground wire out of the way. Done. That's what it should have looked like when I opened it, but that wasn't in there. So, now I gotta go through the fun part of cleaning top of the intake and the bottom of the thermostat housing. So once I get that, that done, I will try to show the process of putting the thermostat in there and putting the housing back on and everything i just don't have much room to put my tripod since this is a van your hood's only literally like two three foot long so you had hardly have any room to do anything but yeah i'm gonna get all this cleaned up and um try to prop my tripod up somewhere so i can show the process on how to put it back together Alright, so I actually ended up having to go to O'Reilly's. Actually, no, I'm going now because I don't have the right thermostat housing gaskets. It was just a handful that my dad handed me when I was at his shop about an hour or two hours ago. But, yeah, I don't have the right one. All the ones I have are too small, so I'm running up to O'Reilly's on Lee Road real quick to see if I can't find the right thermostat housing gasket and try to get the thermostat done and then try to knock the radiator out, try to get all that squared away, and then go on a test drive and see if this thing stays at, stays maintaining at operating temperature. So we're going to go do O'Reilly's now. Come on. All right, so it was not the right size gasket, and I am on my way back to O'Reilly's now. As you can see, the gasket is way too small. 
So now I'm on the hunt for the right size gasket on this. This van's got a thermostat housing on it that's a little too big, which to me I don't believe is true because it lines up with the bolt holes on the intake for it. So back to O'Reilly's I go to try to find the right one. Alright, so I got the new thermostat in, got the new gasket for it, thermostat's in, don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can barely see the thermostat in there. When I got the new thermostat in, there was nowhere for me to prop my tripod up to film the process of putting it back in and putting it back together, but you have that ground back there on that back stud. You want to make sure you hook that ground up. Otherwise, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's for the temperature gauge or something. Your temperature gauge isn't going to work. And if you own one of these and have done this before, you know it's a lot easier to take that vacuum line off that throttle body right there to access that back stud so you can get that top nut off, get the ground off, and then pull that stud out with the bottom nut. But yeah, pretty simple process once you get the right gasket and everything for it. Like I said, the first one I got was wrong, but finally got the right size gasket for it. It's a little too big, but it, it'll work because the one that was on it was a little too big. But yeah, I got the new thermostat in, got it tightened down good and tight. And I am now going to attempt to find out where that vacuum line went that I took off and try to put it back on there. Problem is trying to find it. Huh, wow, that was simple enough. Because I honestly thought that vacuum line was one that goes on that adapter plate for your air cleaner, but I forgot that one's on the back side. So yeah, got that vacuum line hooked back up. And if you end up taking that vacuum line off, you want to make sure you hook that up. Otherwise, this thing is going to fire up and idle really freaking high. But uh, now that the thermostat's done, I am going to pull the fan trout out already got the upper radiator hose off as I showed it's right there had you got to pull the lower radiator hose off now drain all the coolant out of the radiator and get the new one out of my dad's Tahoe so yeah I'm gonna drain everything out of this radiator get fan trout out and try to get the new one in and I'll try to film this one if I can find my bigger tripod that would be freaking awesome because then it'd make it easier for me to try to do this all right so I finally got the radiator out as you can tell the lower radiator hose is somewhere right there got the radiator out here's the old one you can see where it's previously been leaking all down that side been beat to hell but one one way I know they use stop leak on this thing this port right here plugged up freaking solid all of that is stop leak all of it is stop leak and I hate this stuff I have used it on a couple vehicles when I worked in the mechanic shop just because this is what the customer wanted us to do. But well, we strongly advised them not to and they still wanted to do it anyway. So we went ahead and did it. But I try not to use this stuff on my personal vehicles. Like I said, I'm a second owner of this thing. The guy that owned this thing before me is notorious for working on his own vehicles before bringing it to a mechanic shop. But yeah, radiator just from that right there tells me there's a lot of stop leak in here and can't really unless I get it just right in sunlight you can't really see it in there so go ahead and open up the overflow bottle overflow bottle is full of freaking stop leak so I'm gonna attempt to rinse out the overflow bottle Need a flashlight real quick. Got it. Let's see if I can 
hold that out of the way. Hold the camera and the light. Oh, stop leaking there. Yeah, that is all stop leak in there. So I'm going to attempt to rinse out the overflow bottle in the process of putting the new radiator in. So I'm going to get the new radiator. I have no idea where my big tripod is, so I'm not going to be able to film this process of putting the um, new radiator in. But once I get it in, I'll explain how I got it in and everything. Alright, so I got the gasket I need, hopefully. Really hope it's the right one, because it's the only one that O'Reilly's had in stock. So we're going to see if this is the right one. Part number matches the uh, thermostat part number, so I'm kind of hoping it is. But only one way to find out is get back home, put the thermostat in, and try to put the new gasket on. Alright, so I got the new radiator in. Got water and antifreeze in it. I did straight antifreeze and now I'm mixing it with water because I didn't buy that pre-mixed crap because it sucks. When a new radiator's in, everything's hooked up. Let's go ahead and start it. So it's now the following day. I managed to get the van up and running. Still having an overheating issue with it. Um, Not quite sure what else is wrong. My dad ended up driving it today. But I forgot to do the outro yesterday. My camera died and I was just too tired to even pick it back up to film the outro. So if you want, go ahead, like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. There's going to be a lot better videos coming out soon. I'm just trying to figure out where I want this channel to go. So like I said, go ahead, like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on.